Welcome to episode 288 of the Bear Trap on the Boom and Bust channel, Bears podcast by Bears fan. I'm your host, Terry, and today, doing a film session looking at our run game from David Montgomery versus the Houston Texans and our win. Um, yeah, so with all that said, let's go ahead and get it started. Um, let's see here. So we got 11 runs, 11 carries. Uh, we had a blowout win. Some people... We're a little not happy about uh, the number of carries, but, I mean, we'll go through and look. So it's first and 10. I believe it's the first play of our drive. And this goes for, yeah, this is or the first play for us for the game. And this goes for the homer. <laughs> and that's what we all want to see. We all love it. But let's break it down. I mean, it's an inside zone. It always almost is. So <laughs> let's see what. And it's not a split because uh, he's on the same side as the tight end. So they're going to jet, but it's going to be a regular inside zone out of the shotgun. We've been running a lot of this under center lately. Um, yeah, it's our same combination of guys we've had. I mean, it. I mean, Bars gets beat. Bars has been having a tough time, to be honest with you. Um, so it's interesting. So they bring this uh, defender up into the box like an extra person. Now he's backside, so he really shouldn't matter. But the way it hit, it made it seem like we had. Well, I guess, ah, uh, so this was, this was smart. This was smart. And I like this. And there, there's, there's some debate with, uh, offensive coaches about doing this type of stuff on run play. So instead of helping out on the backside edge, they, uh, had Jimmy Grant go out kind of like maybe a bubble or something else just looking like he's in a route. Now that motion you see is man. So he's in man with Jimmy. So when Jimmy goes, he goes. That opens this up. Now you only got two defenders at the second level. Both of them get blocked, and then it's a one-on-one -on -one with the third-level safety. And that's what you want. Most runs are designed uh, to get you, or the best ones are one-on-one. -on -one. Leno gets the edge. They double up to the backer who overtakes the B-gap. They get up to the second level, A-gap, natural lane, wide open. And this is what... Montgomery's good at he's good at open field making somebody miss he's good at turning it on with some speed afterwards but the thing is he didn't have to read this it was wide open <laughs> he didn't have to figure out what was going on that gap is gigantic and he just hit through it so I mean simple play but a good a good small tweak and so everybody's going to talk about uh, Dave Montgomery, everybody's going to talk about whatever, but that's the small tweak that you're not really going to give credit to a coach if you're not watching the film or see what's going on. All right, so second and seven handoff. Looked like he lost a yard. Yep, third and eight. So let's see here. They start off looking like uh, I formation with Komet at fullback, motion them out. To in line position. Look like I saw somebody pull. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we got a jet motion. And we just run a regular zone, and JJ Watt destroyed that. I'm going to tell you right now because <laughs> you could just see it. Now, my thing is with the jet, if we don't run anything off the jet, people are going to stop caring about that. So Watt swims inside, blows that all the way up. I mean, that's really what it is. I could dissect each position, but really, really Watt just uh, disrupted the flow. That's a zone killer. And the really good defenders, AD, JJ Watt, Geno Atkins, a couple others, they've been really good at understanding when to go against the flow of uh, zones and they wreck it. Those are zone wreckers, as we call them. So second and four out of the shotgun. 
Not sure exactly what that was. It looked kind of like inside zone, but Yafeti wasn't in the zone. He was one-on-one. And they might have just tagged it. It looks like they just tagged it. Either he didn't know what he was doing or they just tagged it. That backside is so wide open. Like, I don't know, man. I would have had to do a veer off that or something. All right, so anyway, play side, we get there. D, uh, let me see that back. Let me see that again. All right, so play side, Leno should be to the edge. He's outside, so that's one-on-one. -on -one. Mustafer should be double teaming here to the backer. That's what should be happening. But Mustafer goes here. And that leaves bar one on one. That's a tough block. That's, that's gone. The cutback's not there. Because at least the rules that I go by, I don't know what their rules are. Like if he's outside of him, then you block down, you block down. He, no one's there. So you got to have this zone combo here. You should check here, go to the linebacker. Because if you check here, give him enough time for bars to overtake, then you go there, then you got a little bit of a lane. All right, moving on. Second and two. We're in the second quarter in the uh, white zone. Oh, yeah, this was off a of Wildcat. Um, and this, or not this one, but last week I was pointing out in the run game. I was like, it was a really good job by, uh, I mean, I'm still not a fan of Wildcat, but it was a good job by, uh, Montgomery because he did have to actually read the play last week. Like it wasn't just a little fake handoff. He actually read it. It was like a veer look, which was what I was talking about earlier. And so here there's no actual veer. Because they blocked the edge. There's no read. This is one where they just kind of fake the handoff and run a little bit of a power. Or power read is the new cool thing that everybody's doing. Um, but, yeah. Uh, first and ten. Let me go back. Just to set the context. Second quarter. We're up uh, nine points at the point. So first and 10, most of our running in the first half, which is interesting. And I know Nagy said he was going to stay aggressive after halftime, but I think people were just expecting a little more running. And so a big game, and I like the finish, not just falling over whatever, diving, getting those extra yards. That's a smart play. So we got a lot of people on the line. Tight end, bunch look. Looked like it was just a zone. A lot of mess on the line. Side note, these receivers, I'll be tired watching them motion. That's a lot of moving. <laughs> so they do a split zone. And really just credit to Cole. Co no, that wasn't Cole. Co that was Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham cuts J.J. Watt backside. And that's what opens up that because we're zoning to our right. So it's going to be a combo here up to the second level of Fetty's on this edge player. So this combo should come here. It should have come here. They always go to the edge. That always creates this. That That's not correct. That's, that's not how you should block an inside zone. But anyway. Um, so part of that problem, bars goes here, that leaves this open. So now the whole B gap isn't really going to work. And then backside, you should have these two combo in. And then Komet's going to go to the next level, and Jimmy Graham's going to come across and cut J.J. Uh, Watt. So, yeah, Komet gets up to the next level to the backer, and the back. Uh, the cutback is there, and then the rest is just uh, Dave Montgomery. And there was a whole or flag on there. I don't remember what the flag was. All right, third and two. 
We are towards the end of the second quarter. And some people was questioning this running at this point with 43 seconds left. But that looks like a dive. We rarely, rarely see that. It looked like hat on hat to me. So, and they only got three on the line. I mean, I guess it was a dive. Now, my question is, I don't know why they took so long to get to the blocks. I don't know if it was supposed to be a draw, but that's what it kind of looks like. Like Leno and Whitehair, they're just shuffling, shuffling. Like, go. Y'all know who they are. Get on them. But it ends up uh, timing up enough for Montgomery to get a good game. And that's interesting, but it was only three down linemen. So now we go to the fourth quarter before. So the entire third quarter, no Dave Montgomery runs. We go all the way to the fourth quarter before he runs the ball again. That's interesting. So it looks like a split zone again. And again, what does all that motion mean? So split zone, and it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing, except if Fetty gets beat this time. Because <laughs> he's outside, so it should be these two working here, but they don't do that, and I just, I, I don't get it. Because you leaving bars by himself, that's a, that's a tough block to get all the way over here and make that block on that outside shoulder. He's not fast enough for that, clearly. And then the Fetty's not fast enough for that backside. So that's just eight up. Better coaching. It's been all year. Or if that's the way they're being coached, they need better schemes. Juan Castillo, everyone told me we were going to look so good because of Juan Castillo. All right, short game there. Oh, I should have just let it play. Looks like a lead zone. Looks like some good movement play side, but back side looks like where we got caught up. Oh, we got two tight ends to that side. I mean, it's there. It's there. I don't know, maybe 91 is faster than my eyes perceive. Because <laughs> I don't think Montgomery slowed down too much. I don't know, man. Maybe he just fast. Also, Jimmy Graham's man, uh, 52, works inside of him towards the end. So that kind of ruined the edge as well. Uh, I like that run though. We should uh or that play. We should continue to do that. First and ten. We're up big at this point. Let's see double tight end set. Looks just like an inside zone handoff. Dave Montgomery would be so much better in a power scheme or or a gap scheme, I should say. Just just straight dives, double teams, lead dives, stuff like that. This is pretty good. It's a pretty good zone. I mean, if Jimmy stays on his man, it'd be even better. But for the most part, it wasn't terrible. All right, first and ten. And towards the end of this thing, got an ace uh, pro formation, a little 22 personnel. Looks like a zone and then a cutback. Let's see. Who is 48? <laughs> Ain't that the long snapper? And uh, I don't 
don't know. I can't tell. Doesn't really look fully like a zone. Looks kind of like, yeah, it looks like a dive. Yeah, Montgomery just does not like to follow the play. But I don't get it. I mean, I mean, I don't blame him is what I meant. Mustafer kind of gets manhandled here at the point of attack. But still, you got a fullback, just follow him. You would have had some space, but Montgomery makes something out of that cutback. That should be it. It's not, though. Second and 12. I mean, that's it for me at this point. We already know, <laughs> we know what it is. So, um, yeah, okay. That was our run game, um, obviously. And, and the thing that gets me again, this is why I always say stats only tell part of the story, is that you look at it and people are like, oh, well, you had 100 yards this game or such as did 100 yards this. And then one play could be 80 yards. <laughs> and that's what it was for us, obviously. But that does change the dynamic. I mean, it, it's, yeah, you gave up yards, but it's one drive and one touchdown. Um, that doesn't really equal to the same effect of a um, steady, continuous run. If you break off the first play for 80 yards and then we hold you to less than two yards of carry every play after that, then that if, that total yardage does not affect the game the same way. Not to say that's what happened with us, but I'm just saying. So that's why you got to really look at it. And then we did. I mean, the third quarter we did stay aggressive. As Nagy said, we were going to come out. Now, does that equal never running the ball? I'm going to say never because obviously Cordero had a chance to run the ball. But does that equal running the ball no times with David Montgomery? I don't know that that's the type of aggression I want. Um, but at the same time, um, that's the mentality they want to stay with their foot on the pedal and not uh, ease up, which I get. But at the same time, the run game was such a big part of the reason you were winning in the first half. So, I don't know. That was just a little weird to me. And then overall, it's the same game, same thing, new new week. Uh, our zone is effective enough. It could be better. Uh, Montgomery uh, obviously does not trust his vision <laughs> that much. But at the same time, he has tremendous talent. And when you get teams like this, we could catch them in spots and we could uh, do some things. So, um yeah yeah that's what it was so go down in the comment section let me know what you think share it around get the conversation started remember stay up and bear down